Hey there, everybody. Welcome. Tony Porter, Cards and Dice TV, 1980 Fall Classic Baseball. This game is being played August 4th. It's a Monday. And it's going to be Minnesota at Oakland Coliseum. Steve McCaddy versus Jeff Zahn. Uh, Zahn a lefty, McCaddy a righty. And the Twins. Let's look at their lineup. McCaddy a righty. And the Twins. Let's look at their lineup. It's got Smalley, Wilfong, Powell, batting third, batting cleanup is Landro, the center fielder, Sofield in left, batting fifth, sixth is Goodwin, seventh is Weininger, Castino, and Jackson, eight, nine. For the Athletics, it's Henderson leading off, Essie in the catcher, batting second, third is a center fielder, Armas, cleanup is Newman, the first baseman, Heath, the right fielder. Edwards, the DH, batting 6th. 7th is Guerrero, the shortstop. 8th uh, is McKay, the third baseman, and Cox, the second baseman. We got players, a lot of players out of position, and we got three catchers in the lineup. Heath Newman and Essien today for the Athletics. So let's get started. And uh, first I'm going to roll to see stuff, see what kind of stuff they've got today. And I always roll the Athletics first, and that's going to be a B stuff for McCaddy. Now I'm going to roll for Zahn, and that is C stuff for Zahn. That tells us nothing. We don't know what's going to happen. Let's do it. Roy Smalley, Steve McCaddy checks in with Essien for the sign. And that is line base hit to center field for Smalley. Played on a hop by the center fielder Armas. Normally plays right field. He's in center today. Wolfong. And he bats from the left side. That's a snake, guys. And that's an out. A 20 is a line out. It's going to be a line out to the pitcher. And let's see if it's a double play. No, no, it's a two. No, it's not. L1. Quick throw to first. Not in time. And Smalley gets back. So one out, one on. Hoskin Powell. Another left. They got five or six lefties in a row. And that's a 14 to 19. That's in the air to right field. Over is Heath. Mike Heath is out there today. He makes the catch and two outs, one on. Here's Kenny Landro, another lefty. That's a 25, and that's going to be a fly ball right field. Hit right on the nose, but right at the right fielder. And uh, that retires the side. So they leave one, no runs, one hit, one left. We go to the bottom of the first, Ricky Henderson. That's a 41. That's normally a base on balls. So with Henderson, that's a blank. And then we're going to look at Joe Zahn, who's that is a walk. And Zahn, Zahn, uh, Zahn, uh, Jeff Zahn has good control. But uh, Henderson walks, so he's on it first. Not going to be stealing, but Zahn throws over. Here's Essien with a 42, and that will be a base on ball. So back-to-back -back walks just like that. And it's Tony Armas is next. Pitched to Armas with good power, 16. That's a strikeout. Swing and a miss. One away. Jeff Newman is up next. He bats from the right side. Pitch from the left. He's on a 22, and that is a fly ball in the gap. After it is Landro, and he runs it down. Two down. And here's Mike Heath with a 15, and that is bounced to third. Picked up by... Castino, and he throws out Heath. So they leave a couple, a couple of walks. Failed to score, no score after one. And it's going to be Sofield. Rick Sofield. Sounds like the singer. Um, Springfield, right? That's what I'm thinking about. Springfield, strike three. Sofield goes down swinging. One down. And here's Danny Goodwin with a 35, and that's a blank and a B. That's another out, and that is popped up. Third base, two down. A nice mix of outs in this game. Outstanding. That's an 11, and that is ball four. Butch Weiniger, a switch hitter, bats from the left side, and he shows some patience and trots on down to first with a walk, two out, one on. John Castino had an outstanding season, but that's going to be a... 63, and that is hit right back to McCaddy, and that retires the side. No runs, no hits, one left, a walk, 
And we move to the bottom of the second. Mike Edwards, 14, and that is if the righty bounces at the third. One down. Mario Guerrero's next. Pitch to Guerrero, and that it's a fly ball center field. Settling under it is Landro. Two down, and here's McKay with a 31, and that's normally a hit, and it will be a base hit up the middle. Break past the pitcher and into center field. Two out, one on. Here's Jeff Cox, right-handed hitter. Uh, let's see what Cox is, is hitting. Radio is live from Let's get the sound. A little, a little crowd noise. Uh, oh. All right. I can't see what Zion is hitting. Show me. All right. Uh, I mean, what Cox was hitting. That's what I was looking for. 43, and a 43 will be an out. And that's a fly ball to center again. Landro, no runs, one hit, one left. We go to the top of the third. All right, Ron Jackson batting ninth, first baseman. That's a 12, and that will be a fly to left. Over near the line is Henderson, and he makes the catch. Roy Smalling. He's a switch hitter batting from the left side. He singled his first at bat, and here he's going to line one, and that drops in in front of the right fielder, Heath. So he's two for two on the day with one out. Here's Rob Wolfong. And a 43 is a blank, and McCaddy of 43 is ball four. All right, first and, th first and second now with Hoskin Powell up. Left-handed hitter. Here's a pitch, and that's a 51. We're going to have to check that out. 51, the KD's 1-2. Two. That's too high, so we're going to have to roll. It's going to be an error. This is the first time I pull a card. 51 says shortstop. One base error on the shortstop, and that's too high to be an error. There's no way. Well, I know that Guerrero's not that high. I think he's an 8, a 7, or an 8. So that's an even number. It's going to be a 6-4. On, on an odd number, it's a double play. So that's a 6-4. And he goes to third. I put it in the wrong spot. 6-4 goes there. Let me just eliminate that so I don't get myself, my brain confused. He goes to third. All right. So two out. And first and third now. Kenny Landro. Clean up hitter batted. 281 with seven home runs, 11 triples. And that's a drive. That's going to be over the center fielder's head, and one run will come in. At least one. Let's see if Powell. Powell is a real kind of base running ability. He is an F. And it says one to home scores if W or A arm. And arm is in center field is an A arm. So he will score. So the score is 2 nothing. A two run. Double for Kenny Landro. Drives in one there and then drives in another one there. One and three. Two RBIs for Landro. And the Twins are up 2 nothing. Here's Sofield with a 63. And that's right back to the pitcher McCaddy. And that retires the side. So uh, two runs on two hits, 2 nothing. Minnesota, we go to the bottom of the third inning. Here is Ricky Henderson. I can write on these cards because they're PDFs, and that's going to be line base hit to left. And Henderson is going to have a chance on a 22 for a stolen base. And here comes Essien. And the reason I know it's because of the plus sign. So the plus sign is there. So he's going to have a chance. He steals at a 16, and there he goes. The throw down from Weiniger. It may be an error. We're going to have to check. We're going to have to roll again. He is safe, but there could be an error. And Weiniger's error rating. Ooh, let's see if we can find Minnesota. Detroit, Blue Jays, Baltimore. Let's see. Where's Minnesota here? Ah, there it is. And Weiniger is a one error, so there won't be an error. So it's a, a single and a stolen base. And Henderson is on at second. 
nobody out. Here's a pitch to Essie and a 34. And a 34 is a blank. We go to a 34 here, and that's line. Base hit center field, and will he score? If a W or A arm in left field, who's in left field? For the it's so field in left field, so what did I do with that? So, uh, I just looked at it and I didn't put it on top. That's what she said. All right, let's see here. Okay, I'm, I'm looking for the areas. I'm gonna put that on the top. Sophia is an A arm, and it says um, from second to home scores if W or A arm. So he does score. Base hit around the scores. Henderson throws cut off and Essien with an RBI. Two to one. Still nobody out in this inning. Here's Tony Armas, bottom of the third. Oh, that was almost a home run, and that's going to be a fly ball deep left field. Back goes left fielder Sofield to the track and makes the catch one away. Here's Newman now with a 23, and that's a swing and a miss, and he goes down swing. And Mike Heath with a 12, and that's an out. A 9 is a flat to right. Over is the right fielder. Powell under it makes the catch one run on two hits, and the score is 2-1 to one right now. Danny Goodwin leading it off. He's uh, the DH. He popped up the third base. The pitch from McCaddy. That's a 13. And that will be a line out to first. Uh, he's a lefty. It's a line out to first base. Next up is Butch Weininger with a 54. That's a wild. And that says go to Wilder. Next card, go to Wilder. And Wilder says foul pop up behind the plate. Catcher may make an error. That is highly doubtful. Wait a second. Did I need that roll? That is going to be an error on the catcher. Nobody gets on base. Batter gets another chance if he drops it. If he drops it, batter gets another chance. It's going to be an E2. A drop uh, foul ball. And let's uh, get that in there somewhere. Uh, it's a hard. That's going to make him make notes. That's why I like this. I like this scorecard because it gives you E2 on draw. Oh, wait a second. Who am I looking at here? Not Weiniger, but it's going to be Essien. And Essien's rating, catcher rating, is a 1 2, but we rolled a 1, so that will be an error on Essien, a catcher. Drop foul. All right. Okay, so Butch Weininger gets another chance. Nobody out. Nobody on. One out, and that's a 32, and that will be an out, a fly to left. Covering a lot of ground is Henderson. He gets there. And here's John Castillo with two out on top of the fourth. That's a 16, which will be a line out to short. Three up, three down. Easy inning for McCaddy. So... Trying to get as many complete games as I can. Fell a little bit behind. And that's a snake, guys. And that will be bounced to third. Picked up by Castino. Fires the first and gets Edwards one down. Here's Mario Guerrero. He flied out in his first at bat with a 63 as an out. And it's a fly to center. On the run is Landro. And he tracks it down. Turned on the Jets. Read that ball well right off the bat. And here's McKay with a 62, and a 62 will be a fly to center again, but this is a can of corn for Orlando. Three up, three down. Easy inning and fast inning. This plays as fast as Appa, and Appa plays super fast. Um, Ron Jackson, that's a 55, and that is ripped down the line, and that's going to be a fair ball into the corner. And the left fielder, Henderson, gets to it. Jackson digging for second. The throw, the tag, and he is safe at second with a... Lead off double. Steve McCaddy gives up a lead off double to Ron Jackson, the ninth place hitter. And here comes Roy Smalley. Smalley today is two for two. And we're still going to pitch to him. That is a 33, and that is line base hit. 
And will Jackson score? Let's find out. Jackson is an F. Runner on second. F advances, so he does score. Base hit, RBI single. Around comes Jackson. The throw is cut off. And it's an RBI for Small. He scores 3-1 to one now. And it's Rob Wolfong. And uh, fifth inning. And square away is a good bunter. And that is a good bunt right back to the pitcher. So Smalley goes to second now on the bunt. One out. And here is Hoskin Powell. And that's a 53. That's a range check. Too high for the KD. And that's caught. Because that's as low as you can get. That is caught by the first baseman. And we'll check because the first baseman is Newman. And hello, Newman. And he at first base, he's a 15 range. He's got an excellent range. And with that one, that's going to be a three. Oh, the runner is at second. Luckily, the runner will go to third on that. Uh, and it's going to be a G3, two outs now. And uh, 34, that's a blank. And with McCaddy, that's an out. That's bounced to Landers, the lefty. It's bounced to first. And right there is Newman, who steps on the bag ahead of Landro. So that's one run on a couple of hits. And the Twins lead it 3-1. to one. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Pitch to Jeff Cox with a 66. And that is line for base hit. Rope to... Left center field. And here comes Henderson. And we're going to bunt with Henderson. He's a pretty good bunter. He's a four. So that's a good bunt. That's the catcher picks it up. Two, four. And here comes Essien with a runner on second pitch. And that is going to be an error check. The KD fails. And a five on the third baseman third baseman is castino castino at third base is a six and we roll the five that will be an error and it is a one base error so going to third now on the e right there so e five first and third now so the tying runs are on base for tony armas tony armas with good power here's the pitch from Zahn, and that is a deep drive, and that ball is way back to left field. Back goes the left fielder, Sofield, and that is out of here. Three-run shot, and the A's have taken a 4-3 to three lead. Holy smokes. Tony Armas gets hold of, I believe that's his 21st of the season. And he drives in number nine, two, and himself a three. So Tony Armas with a three-run shot here in the bottom of the fifth. And that has given the Athletics a four to three lead. All right. Pitch to Newman. That's a 13. And that will be popped up. First baseman. And that is two down. And here's Mike Heath, who's 0 for 2. And that's going to be, again, an error check. 52 is to the shortstop. And that's too high for the KD check. And a 6 on Smalley. Smalley at shortstop is a 6. So that will be a 1 star. 2 stars. It's a throwing error. No, it was a 52. It's a 1 star. So he just bobbles it. And Heath is on. That's two errors in this inning for the... For the Twins, and here's Mike Edwards, right-handed hitter. Here's a pitch with two out. That's a 12, and that will be a fly ball. Center field, Landro under it, makes the catch, and that retires the side. But the A's pick up three runs on one, two, two hits, and a couple of errors. And we go to the top of the sixth inning. All right, and it's going to be Sophia leading off with a 35. That's a blank, and that's an out. A 20 is a line out to third base, one down. Nice snag by the third baseman. McKay got a lot of guys out of position. A 24, and that is right back to McCaddy. He feels his position, and Goodwin grounds out. 
two out, and here's Butch Weiniger with a 44, and that is a hard hit ground ball past the diving second baseman Cox. That's a base hit for Butch Weiniger, two out single, and here's John Castino. And a 55 is a drive, and that's going to be cut off nicely for a base hit. Castino, let's see what Castino does. Castino, his running ability is an, an A. So going to, from first to third, hold. If one out assists, there's two outs, so he holds at second base. All right. And here is Ron Jackson with two outs and two on the pitch. And that is a 12, which will be a ground ball to short. Flips to Guerrero, flips to Cox, and that retires the side. No runs, two hits, two left, and we move to the bottom of the sixth inning. Guerrero is up. Here's Zahn. I'm checking both pitchers. Zahn can go 35. He can go a ways. He can go a while. It's a 54. Single to left and check for the left fielder for an error. Left fielder, like I said before, so field and so field's error rating is an 8. We roll the 4. So that's a base hit and bobbled by the left fielder. E7. Three errors now for Minnesota. All right. So Guerrero is on here in the bottom of the sixth. That second base with nobody out. Here's Dave McKay with a 51. That's an that's an error check again. <laughs> and that's going to be error on the pitcher. Zahn is an error rating of a four. So that will be right back to the pitcher. And the pitcher's arm has to do with this. The pitcher's arm is a weak arm, so he will advance. So it's a one. And... Um, uh, and I can even check that out. Let me check that out. Run around second, and then it was a one. Yeah, weak advances. All right, so I was a weak arm pitcher. He advances. Okay. So run around third, one out. Cox is up. So we're going to bring the infield in for the Twins. See what happens here. Here's a pitch, and that is a 14. And a 10 is going to be a fly ball to center. With a runner on third, fly ball to center. Runner on third, fly ball. F can risk. Is he an F, Guerrero? I do not think so. And Guerrero is an A, so he will not risk. Oh, that's only if a one. No, actually, no, he an F would risk. Yeah, so that's shallow center field. Actually, it's a line out. And a line out is a little bit different. Hold on. With a four, and he holds on that. Let me fix that. It's a little bit sloppy. It looks like all kind of, I don't know what it looks like. It does not look like anything that I recognize. All right. Uh, line out to eight, so runner holds it second. And here comes Ricky Henderson, who's basically today, he's one for one with a walk and a sacrifice. Here's a pitch. From Zahn, a 36. That's a blank and a 36 on Zahn. Under C will be a little ground ball, and that's through for a base hit, and the run will score. RBI single for Henderson. He's on at first. And uh, here's Jim Essien, who's one for one, one for two with a 16, and that will be a bounce out to. The three is a bounce out to third. He's a righty. And that retires the side. So one run on two hits. And we go, it's uh, score is five to three. We go to the top of the seventh inning. Here's Roy Smalley, and that's a 62. That will be a fly ball to center on the run is Armas, and he tracks that down. Next up is Wolfong. Wolfong with a 25 against a righty. That's a base hit. And uh, Wolfong is on at first. Powell now. He's an A hit and run. So we're going to pull our hit and run card. And it's about that time is when I do my hit and runs. That's going to be a three. And if he's an A, that's going to be a single runner to third. First and third now. One out. 
And the A's are going to play for a double play. They're going to be halfway. Here's a pitch to Landro with a 64, and that will be a 1. That's going to be right back to the pitcher. That may be the double play we're waiting for. Let's see. First and third, right back to the pitcher with a 1. Uh, no, it's going to be... Oh, third base out at home, and that's third base advances to home, I believe. That's the difference. Let me check this one. I have to check the book for this one. All right, first and third, and the ball is hit back to the pitcher. First and third out, ball is hit back to the pitcher. White dies a one, it's not. Check, uh, pitcher checks runner at third. No, and he does not. No, it's going to be going to. Okay, I got it. So, pitcher gets the ball right back, and he's going to look at the runner, and he's going to throw to first. So, he moves up, and it's second and third now. All right. And here's a pitch to Sofield. That's going to be a 21. Strike three. And that retires the side. No runs. Two hits, two left, and we move to the bottom of the seventh inning. Tony Armas is up, and that's a 14, which will be a fly ball center field. Kenny Landro, easy pickings, and Newman up next with a 23, and that's a swing and a miss, strikeout. Two down, and here's Mike Heath. And it's a 55, and that is up the middle and into center field for a base knock. Heath on with a single. Now it's Edwards with a 36, and a 36 against Zahn. That's going to be a base hit, and we'll let's see what will happen here. Let's see where he advances to. Keith is F, and he will advance to third. So first and third with two out. And here comes Mario Guerrero. Here's a pitch from Zahn. Two out, first and third, 24. And that's a hit by pitch on a one or a two, but it's a five. So he's a righty that's bounced to third. And that retires the side. So no runs, two hits, two left. We went to the top of the eighth inning. Danny Goodwin leading it off in a 5-3 athletic lead. That's a 15, and that will be a strikeout. So Goodwin strikes out to lead off the top of the eighth. And here's Butch Weiniger, and Weiniger with a 23, and that's a right back, hit right back to the mound. Nice play by McCaddy. And here is a 65. That's a pitcher home run and a 2. Castino. It's a 65, and McCaddy, and that ball is way back, left field. Back goes Henderson, looks up, and that's out of here. So the score is 5-4, to four. solo shot with two outs here by John Castino. Eighth place batter. And here's Ronnie Jackson with two out. And, uh, oh, McCaddy now, I think is, yeah, McCaddy's beat. McCaddy's B27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. Yep, he is out of there. So let's see who I got. Uh, let's see, single line one. All right, let's see who I got here. Um, we're going to bring in Jones. That's all I got. Jones has got seven to go. And my other pitcher's got, Lacey's got nine to go. You know what? I'm going to bring in Lacey. I'm, try, I'm trying to keep them as close as, to, as close to what they actually pitched. All right, so Lacey's coming in. We're going to roll for his stuff. And he is going to be a B pitcher. Because he's a lefty. It's a special uh, modification. And he will be facing Jackson. So Lacey's in there. With two out in the top of the eighth, the score is five to four. And here's a pitch from Lacey with a 33, and that is a base hit. And Jackson will be running on that. And we're going to be able to use that one, 33. And there he goes. And there could be an error on this if it's a low enough number. And no, this would be a stolen base for Jackson. So a single and a stolen base. The tying run is at second base for Roy Smalley. And Smalley today is... Three for four. And will we pitch to him? Where is Lacey? I put him in the wrong spot. There's Lacey. All right. Hold on a second. So, two out. 
Jackson at second base, and Jackson is an he's an F runner, so that's an advantage, and that's going to be line. No, it's ball four, so he walks. He walks Smalley, and here's Rob Wolfong. Lefty on lefty. Let's see, if we got a pinch hitter for him on this. If we can bring a pinch hitter in. Let me get Powell. Uh, let's see who we got to pinch hit on the bench. You could play second base. Uh, we got Mackinnon. Mackinnon, I think, is a righty. Let's see. We got, we got a Morales. We're bringing Morales. Pinch hitter Morales. And then we'll have Mackinnon. So let's bring in Morales. Pinch hit. With first and second. And here's a pitch from Lacey. That's a 61. And that will be a strikeout. So, and then Mackinnon will come in to play second. And that's uh, one run on two hits, two left, and we go to the bottom of the eighth inning. Zahn is still in there. McKay with a 66, and that is line base hit. And that's going to make it to the wall. Digging for second is McKay, and he's in there with a leadoff double. And I believe that is 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. Nope, he's still good. Here's Cox. Cox is going to square. He's a good bunter, and that is a good bunt. And that is right back to the pitcher. 1-4. So going to third is McKay. And McKay has not, not great speed. Not great speed. Let's see if we can bring in a, a pinch runner for McKay. Um, let's see. Hold on. Uh, what do I got to do for that? Powell is going to fly up to right. Hold on. Uh, okay. So Henderson is going to walk. All right. Now, uh, let's see who I have on the bench. To. All right. Um, I got a guy named Gonzalez. Gonzalez is going to come in and pinch run. And then my third baseman is going to be gross. So Gonzalez is going to run. And then Gross is going to come in. Alright, so Gonzalez is in there running. He's F. And then Gross, of course, will be the third baseman. Alright, so we got a pinch runner. And that's Gonzalez, Gonzo, pinch runner. And then Gross. Alright, at third base. And here is uh, the top of the order. Henderson with a 44, and that is line. It's a base hit, and that will score a run. So, insurance, 6-4 to four now. And uh, hey, Ricky Henderson is on fire. And a 44, he will get a chance to steal that 14 with Wilfong behind the plate. He's a strong arm, so it does go from 16 to a 14, so he is safe at second base with a stolen base. And this is his... Second stolen base of the day. So uh, one out, runner on second. And here's Essien. Oh, and that's going to be it. That is going to be it for Zahn. He is out of there. Walk, walk, eight. Yeah, it's a five three. All right. Oh, no. Let's see. Let's back. All right, so... And we're going to bring in Corbett. Corbett can still pitch. He's got a lot of games left. So we're going to bring in Corbett. He's probably their best pitcher, I guess. The one uh, less, uh, uh, an ERA below two, even though this game is not an ERA game. It's a whip game. Where whip is really what it guides itself. It's very hard to reproduce ERA, but whip, you can, you can get there. Doug Corbett, there he is. Doug Corbett's going to come in. We're going to roll to see his stuff. And he has B stuff, so that's Corbett. 
and he has B stuff. And he will go there. He will be facing Essien. Here's a pitch from Corbett. Snake eyes, and that's an out. That's a fly ball to the left. So that is two out. And here comes Tony Armas. Pitch from Corbett. 55, and that is a drive. Way back, left field. Back goes Sophia. Looks up, and that's gone. Two run shot. That's the second home run of the day for Tony Armas. I believe it's his 22nd. I can check. Oh, I haven't written anything in, so I can't really check right now. But he drives in one and himself. But his second home run of the day, he's got five RBIs and a couple of home runs. And that's another two runs, and the score is 8-4 to four now. So the A's have broken it open a little bit. And here's Jeff Newman with a 44, and that is a bouncer, and that's through into center field for a base hit. And here's Mike Heath. It's a 42, and that's a blank. And Corbett, like we said, was a B. A 42 will be ball four. So Corbett's struggling a little bit here. Can't get out of this inning. Two outs, two on. Mike Edwards, and that's a 15. That will be an out. That's bounced to the shortstop. 6-4, fielder's choice, and that retires the side. But the A's pick up three runs on one, two, three, four hits. And they lead it eight to four. Top of the ninth, last licks for the Twins. And uh, Lacey's in there. Lacey's going to finish it off. Here's uh, Wolfong's not in there anymore. It's Mackinan who came in. So let's do this. Got to get there. That's a 15, and that will be a line out to third base, L5. Hit it hard, but right at the third baseman. Actually, went the opposite way. Lined it the opposite way. A 26 against a righty. We got a lefty, so that's going to be grounded to the first baseman. Picking it up and stepping on the bag is Newman ahead of Landro. Two outs, so the Twins are down to the last out. Here's Sofield. That's a 31, and that is going to be a base hit up the middle. We let those lefties bat, and we're going to pinch hit for this lefty here. Let's see who we can bring in to pinch hit. Uh, let's see. Five, five, three. All right, so Sofield is up. We're going to bring in a pinch hitter. Um, no, it's Goodwin. I'm sorry, it's Goodwin. Uh, we need a righty. We're going to bring in Sal Butera. Sal Butera. One on, two out. Eight, four, A's. 54, that's going to be a wild with a runner on base. And it's a wild pitcher, pass ball, and 11. Lacey is a 18, so that's going to be a wild pitch. Going to second is Sofield. And here's again Butera with a 32. That's a, oh, that's going to be a pitcher double. Lacey, that is a pitcher double, but it's a minus two, and that's a 16. It's too high. That'll be an out. That'll be bounced to short, and that's the ball game. Yeah, it's a, if it's a 32, it has a tendency to be a pitcher double, and it was actually a 1 to 12 as a double on Lacey's card, but that would be a minus two on that, so it would be a 1 to 10. But we rolled 16, it's too high, and that's the ball game. No runs. One hit, one left, and the A's win it by a score of 8-4. to four. The victory goes to McCaddy. The loss will go to, to Zahn. And, um, and that's about it. So final score is 8-4. to four. Let's get some hits. 3, 5, 7, 9. A lot of hits in this game. 11, 12. 12 hits for the Twins. And for the A's, we got 4, 6, 8, who do you appreciate? 10, 12, 13. 13 hits. And uh, f so it's eight runs, 13 hits, one error for the A's. Four runs, 12 hits, three errors for the Twins. And that's the ball game. Tony Porter, Cards and Dice TV, Fall Classic Baseball.